In this video, we will look at some possible faults in an air conditioning unit that usually works and cools well, but sometimes stops or interrupts its operation due to compressor-related issues. Let's start by saying that before focusing on a compressor problem, it is recommended to first perform external maintenance on the unit, focusing on cleaning the indoor and outdoor units, the air filter, and verifying the correct speed of the fans. If after performing external maintenance on the unit, the system still does not work satisfactorily, we will focus on the following possible faults. The first cause of failure is due to excess current, caused by electrical or electronic issues. Measure the compressor's current consumption using a clamp meter. The cause of progressive excess current can be due to several factors, which we should rule out with these steps. A. Check the voltage supply from the external grid. Low voltage supply will increase the compressor's current consumption. B. Verify the correct connection of the connection cables. C. Electrically disconnect the compressor from the electronic board, and with the help of a multimeter, check for very high resistance between any compressor connection pin and its casing. This ensures there is no current leakage to ground. D. Verify that the electrical resistance measured between the compressor pins has the correct value. For example, in inverter units, ensure all resistances between pairs of pins have the same value. E. If no faults are identified in the previous steps, and if the amperage remains consistently higher than the manufacturer's specifications, there may be issues with the IPM module integrated circuit that supplies current to the compressor. F. When there are problems with the IPM module, an error code often appears to guide the detection of this fault. To check for faults in the IPM module, first, disconnect the unit's power supply. Remember that electrolytic capacitors can store energy. The most common test to rule out problems in the IPM module circuit is to perform a visual inspection for faults and use the multimeter on the high resistance scale, placing the negative probe on the IPM module circuit ground and the positive probe on any of the IPM module terminals that go to the compressor. You should get an infinite reading, indicating no short circuits. The second cause of failure is mechanical problems. Let's look at their specifics. A. Problems due to detecting excess compressor temperature can cause the unit to shut down due to overheating. It is recommended to focus on the overload switch located on the compressor casing, which can trigger false alarms when there are issues with its connection. B. However, there can also be a real increase in compressor temperature due to issues with the insulation of the unit's pipes, which can raise the refrigerant gas temperature at the outlet of the indoor unit in cooling mode. C. Additionally, noises such as squeaks or knocks can indicate that the compressor's moving parts are operating without adequate lubrication, which can also be causing an increase in amperage. The additional friction generates heat, which can cause the compressor to overheat. Overheating not only affects the compressor's efficiency, but can also damage electrical components, further increasing the amperage required for its operation. An infrared temperature gun can identify hot spots indicative of excessive friction and wear, often caused by insufficient lubrication. If some components are hotter than other parts of the system, it may indicate lubricant oil problems. D. Check the compressor lubricant's presence and color at the air conditioning unit's manifold connection ports. Normally, the oil is clear and transparent. If it looks slightly yellow, that's also fine. 
However, if the oil turns black sludgy or even shows impurities, it means the system has issues and the oil is in poor condition and should be replaced. If the oil is black, it is carbonized. If the oil remains transparent but has impurities, these can clog the filter or capillary tube. If the oil becomes turbid and gray, there is a problem.